This video is for a pastor's wife, a minister's wife, or a mom with young children. The purpose of this video is to encourage moms to let them know how important their roles are and also to persuade you not to neglect your responsibilities as a parent. So if you are a mom and you are involved in ministry, you need to watch this video because I'm going to share some very important information with you. We were created to be a help to one another. And when you are helping someone, it makes you feel good. And it's one of those things to where you don't want to stop because it brings you joy and also make you feel good inside when you happen someone else. When you are a full-time pastor, our minister, you're going to put in a lot of hours. And even when you are off, a lot of times you're still going to be thinking about it. So it's like you still clock in. So when you are married to someone that's in ministry, their main focus is going to be on the ministry. And that's why it's very important for you as the wife to focus on your children. Make sure that they are taken care of. Make sure you are doing all the responsibilities of a mom. Tip number one, focus on your children. Your children are your number one responsibility. That's your ministry. Tip number two, God wants you to be a good mom. God cares about every aspect of our lives. And it's important to him for you to be a good mom. I'm sure as a Christian, you have heard about the virtuous woman how she took care of her family. And one of the things that stood out to me about her is that her husband and also her children called her blessed. And they knew that they were blessed to have her in their lives. And that's one thing that I desire. I want my children to call me blessed. I want to be a blessing to them. I don't want them to regret being a pastor's child or having parents that's in ministry. Even though all of my kids are grown, I still make sure that I am available to talk to them when they need me. I want to be a part of their lives. And I want them to know that they are important to me. Tip number three. Your children are your responsibility. I'm a pastor's child. My mom started pastoring when I was a baby. So church and ministry is the main thing that I know about in life. <laughs> My mom was a full-time pastor and she also was a full-time evangelist. And so she traveled around the United States. So she was gone away from home a lot. And I can remember as a little girl crying a, a lot. And the reason why is because I missed her. I just needed to be around her more. And we had different people watching us and they were nice to us. But it's just something about it to where God made us to where when you're really young, you need your mom and no one else can replace your mom. So my mom was sold out to God and her ministry came first. I knew that she loved me. But I can remember feeling that she didn't have time for me. So I felt very lonely as a child. I was the youngest and my sisters and brothers, they all spoiled me. 
But even though they were there for me, it still was something missing. Nothing could replace what I needed from my mom. Sometimes as ministers, you get so caught up in trying to save the world, but you forget about your home. Your kids have souls too, so don't forget about them. If you are a pastor or if you are involved in ministry, every so often evaluate yourself. Make sure that you are involved in your children's life. Make sure that you are taking out time to spend with your kids because they need you more than anyone else. I am hosting my first webinar July the 29th. If you are a pastor's wife and you have some issues of being a pastor's wife, you need to sign up for my webinar. All the information is going to be below. If you like my message and you just want to support me, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. That way every time I upload a video, you will be notified. And thank you for tuning in. Bye.